Teresa's Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa, and I'm going to welcome you to the shed of many names for now. Today, I'm going to be showing one of the ways that I smoke my food to give it smoky flavor. This time, I'm not going to have enough time to cook the butt all the way through, but I will have enough time to impart a really rich dense smoke flavor to it and then i'm going to transfer it to uh not only the oven but also to my roaster oven outside or here in the shed but first we got to get started on uh the smoking process now i'm going to tell you now i don't have no big fancy smoker i've got a old as dirt piece together smoker that still works very fine and i'm proud of my little smoker i cannot tell you what all i have made on that smoker from chicken to turkeys butts shoulders bacon yes homemade bacon oh i've got to teach y'all that too so i'm fixing to take you outside and show you the basics of how I smoke meat for flavor, not to completely cook it. See you back here in a bit. Okay, like I said, my smoker is old as dirt. I bought it used, and I know I've had it for 10 years or better. But I love these smokers. Now, you're probably wondering why there's aluminum foil lined in my and the bottom pan is to hold the charcoal briquettes as well as the uh, wood chips for smoking. Now I also, now also, I prefer to use lump charcoal, but it's getting to the point where you can't get a hold of that anymore. Now the reason why I have it aluminum foil lined because like I said, I hold on to stuff till it won't work anymore. Uh, the bottom of the pan has partially rusted out because of heat and everything. So if you use heavy duty aluminum foil, it's perfectly fine. Now, I'm having to use charcoal briquettes. I've already put uh, lighter fluid on it. And I let the fluid soak into the briquettes. Then I get let it start. And once they are good and started, I'm going to bring you back and show you my setup for this smoker. And of course, any leaves and stuff is going to burn out as the smoker gets hot. And I will bring you back here in a little bit. Okay, now that the flame has subsided, now it's showtime. Now, uh, the second pan that you put uh, water in, juice in, now, this time, I'm not going to add seasoning to the water because I'm not going to be cooking my uh, butts on the smoker. I'm going to be just getting the smoke flavor. When I bought the smoker, that pan was missing, but that's okay. I found one of these aluminum bowls that fits just perfectly right down in there. Now this is my bowl that I use for just putting a uh, smoke flavor into the meat. So it's not going to look really great. But you want to make sure that you have fluid in this bowl or in your pan that keeps your meat from uh, burning and it helps to keep it juicy and it helps to keep that fat off of your flame or where your charcoal is and like I said my my smoker is pieced together next 
goes on the rack for the meat. It might look junky, but you know what? I've been cooking on this for many a year. Next comes the important part, the meat. And I've already seasoned my meat. I'm going to have to do some improvising to get both of them on here. But I've got garlic powder, onion powder, and slap your mama. And I poked holes through the fat so that the seasoning and the smoke and everything will drip down into your meat. Like I said, I'm not putting them on here to cook them. I'm putting them on here to smoke them real good. I'm going to leave one glove on in case I have to adjust anything. I'm going to put my poor old rickety lid on. And she's going, they're going to smoke away. Oh, let me get my... Now, you also need to know that you're going to have to continue... As your briquettes burn down or your lump charcoal burns down, you're going to need to add more. And this is what this wonderful feed box is for. Now, if I was going to be basting my meat, which I'm not going to be doing this time, I could scoop out of this bowl and baste it with the drippings. And also, I can add more wood for smoking what i'm using this time is something that was gave to me and i'm thankful for it's cherry wood pellets yes you can use pellets on this smoker as well it just gets a little challenging to get them in there but you just toss them in there and they'll still work all right going and these are Kingsford 100% cherry wood pellets and as you can see she's a smoking good I'm gonna keep an eye because you want to keep an eye on make sure there's no flame flare-ups because you're wanting the smoke is what you want it and I'll bring you back here after a while to check on them okay I've run out of time on one of these butts so I'm gonna take it out now that's a beautiful smoke job on it for only an hour's time so and no it is nowhere near cooked but I gotta get it in the oven Oh, that's a pretty 
be smoke on Arrow Girl. I'm gonna put this lid on. For only an hour worth of smoke time, that's pretty good. And when your smoke <coughs> drops down, that means you got a, a flare-up. You want to keep them flare-ups from happening. You can just stir your coals. Or use a, a fine mist bottle. But you don't want to use too much of a mist. Because you don't want to kill your coals. I'm going to let that baby smoke a little bit longer. I'm fixing to go get this butt in the oven. And I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, this one has been smoking for an hour and a half. And yes, I'm a smoke purist. It's not long enough for my likes. But some smoke flavor is better than no smoke flavor. pretty color on it all around and I got to make way for two more butts I'm watching Jaina too cuz she's excited as well move back Here we go, two more butts to put on the smoker. Well, let me tell you, smoke's been smelling good. Now, one of these butts is huge. Do it like this. Stand that one up. Move one glove on so I can adjust. And like I said, I'm just smoking for flavor, not for cooking. Alright. Let's check the firebox. What you don't want to see any flame but smoke coming out. And like the old saying, smoke follows beauty. It will get you. Go in for more. don't want it to flame up, but you got to tend it. Make sure that the pits don't burn out. And like I said, I'm not cooking it. I'm just smoking it. And a handful or two more of the pellets. Get that shut back down and let her start smoking all over again. Like I said, when your smoke amount drops down, it means it's time to fill the uh, box again. And you want to keep a good, heavy, steady smoke on it. Well, I'm fixing to go put this other butt in the oven, get it cooking, 
because I got to get these two cooking after they smoke. And I'm going to probably let these babies smoke for a couple hours. I'd love to let them smoke for a whole lot longer, but I just don't have the time. And I've got to get these uh, done, pulled, well, smoked, and then cooked, and then pulled, and have them ready to roll the can tomorrow. Which I've already showed y'all how to can pull pork. I'm not going to make a video on uh, the processing of it, but I just wanted to show you how to get smoke flavor in your food. It's not, like I said, not as strong as I like it, but some smoke's better than no smoke in my idea, in my world, and you do what you can. I'll see you back later on. I want to apologize everyone, I've been so busy, I totally forgot to show you what they look like when they come off the smoker. This dark color on top is some spices and seasoning, but that is smoke uh, in the fat. Fat's notorious for not holding smoke very well, but down here you can see the meat definitely has held onto the smoke flavor and let me tell you it smells like a smokehouse up in this shed while this is cooking these are almost done and i will be pulling them soon they're starting to look really good but most of all that's fat you can see that good smoke well you can kind of see if i can get it to focus it got a pretty good smoke ring. You can barely tell it. Camera won't focus, but other than that, it is simple and easy to smoke your food. Like I said, I was smoking for flavor, not to cook it. When I smoke another butt or turkey or some homemade bacon, which, yes, that's a video to come, I love making homemade bacon. It tastes so much better. I will make a video when I cook something all the way through on the smoker and show you. And I absolutely love making smoked turkeys. Those are wonderful as well. Simple, easy, anybody can do it as long as you have a smoker. You don't have to have one as old as mine, but it still works. You have a smoker. You have the meat, and you have the tom. I hate I had to rush it, but like I said, some smoke flavor is better than no smoke flavor. And I smoked these heavy, even though they didn't, they were only on there for a couple of hours. These got smoked really heavy. <laughs> the neighborhood is fogged out. I hope this encourages you to also smoke your own food. It tastes so much better, and it's so wonderful just like what our ancestors ate if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment section below i look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed everyone take care